This video is a result for searching for a vehicle with a trailer. And I can't decide if it's wrong. Tom here from Learn Systems, and today we're diving into one of the most interesting pieces of recent unified video gear, the AI key. I've been testing it in a real production environment, not just my lab where I did some testing as well, and it brings some genuinely new and interesting features to the Unify ecosystem. Quick note before we dive in, this video is not sponsored by Unify. They did send me the AI key for testing, but they have no editorial control over this video and all opinions are my own. Also, a big thank you to my friend Mike from Railstream for providing me access to the production environment he manages where I was able to put the AI key through its paces. So let's get started. Are you an individual or forward-thinking business seeking expert assistance with network engineering, storage, or virtualization projects? Maybe you're part of an internal IT team that needs to proactively manage, monitor, and secure your technology. We offer comprehensive consulting services tailored to meet your specific requirements. Whether you need fully managed or co-managed IT services, our team is ready to help you. We specialize in supporting businesses that require IT administration or teams seeking an extra layer of support to enhance their operations. Our install team is ready to assist you with all of your structure cabling and Wi-Fi planning needs as well. To learn more about any of our services, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out the Hire Us form, and let us start crafting the perfect IT solution for you. If you want to show some extra love for our channel, Check out our swag store with shirts, hats, dust accessories, and more. We also have affiliate links down below that'll get you discounts and deals on products and services we talk about on this channel. With the ad read out of the way, let's get you back to the content that you came here for. The AI key is an enhancement for the Unify Protect ecosystem. This is something I've talked about in my previous videos about Protect, and I really love this concept of being able to use add-ons where you buy the base device and then add on later the features that you want. So this keeps the base model inexpensive, but if you decide you would like some smart detections with this AI key, well, you can add this on. And it doesn't matter how many cameras you have, it matters how many detections are in those cameras. I really like this as a concept as well, because you can say, well, I only need one AI key or maybe two or maybe three based on the number of detections per hour you would like to get. So currently one AI key supports 1000 detections per hour. Pretty simple math when you look at it, you know, is it detecting an animal? Is it detecting a human? Is it doing some of this natural language transcription? And if you have cameras that mostly look at things that are unchanging, well, you can get away with one AI key and quite a large number of cameras. And being able to easily stack these is a simple process of just adopting as many as you have. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the setup process because it's well documented from Unify. It is simply connect the AI key using a PoE++ power source, as in a good network switch that is also on the same network as Protect, adopt the AI key to the Unify Protect, and away you go. It's really simple. And then you click on all the features you want enabled. Now the AI key works with the G4, G5, and AI series cameras all here in April of 2025, and will work with the G3 or OMVIF cameras if you have an AI port. I've done a video on the AI port. It actually has more features after a few updates since I did my video, so go ahead and watch that video, but also note I did mention those future updates, and that future is here where the AI port now supports more cameras. And we do have the AI port on a few of these G3 cameras, so that also allows the AI key to do processing. Now, as far as setting up the AI key, besides adopting it, you can fine tune which cameras it's attached to. I chose all of them. And the reason I did this was, well, I want to see it really work as hard as possible. And I wanted to see what happened when the detection queue exceeds the number of tasks that it's been assigned. And you can see that it gives an error right here that says the detection queue has over 100 tasks indicating a high load and potential delays. Try removing some cameras from the AI features or adding an additional AI key. It will let you know, so you don't have to try to calculate out how many AI keys you need. If you buy one to start, you can buy another one later and add that extra enhancement. It will distribute the load between the keys. But you can see that, well, the tasks have currently exceeded that. And the other option, of course, is just to eliminate all the cameras that are on it. And you can see it's not quite hidden, but there are times when it hits this really high load, which it causes that message. But if you look at it on a weekly basis, as you can guess here, it's daytime when the load goes high and at night there's not as much load at this particular environment. And this two little bottom humps here is the weekend where there's also less action because there's quite a few cameras attached to this particular system. And therefore, there's a lot of queuing on the AI key. 
What the AI key is doing is going through all the videos and adding a description to enhance essentially the video that was taken. So if we look at one of these and we'll click on this one here and we can see the summary at the bottom. A pickup truck towing a trailer with equipment that is driving on a suburban street. The grassy area besides the road has a small yellow flowers and there's a brick building to the right. What this is doing is building a lot of extra metadata. So you don't have to scrub through footage when you're looking for something. And similar to my search earlier, I can say vehicle trailer. And it's going to find any vehicle with a trailer. And then I can go through and narrow it down. Now I've got the match confidence set at 50%, but this is adjustable. I can say, give me a lower match confidence. Take it all the way down to 9% and it'll keep expanding out to different estimates of what is a vehicle with a trailer. Because that can be pretty broadly defined. Also can add things like I see there's a white vehicle in here. This one's gray and maybe this one's red, but maybe we knew we wanted a red one. So let's go with vehicle trailer red. And now we only find the red ones. Now it does seem to also have vehicles without trailers in here. So we could probably increase the match confidence, but you can get the idea that this, especially when you have a large volume of cameras is way faster than scrubbing through lots of timelines when you're trying to look for something. Now this also works for other things and we can look for a garbage truck, for example, and it finds lots of different garbage vehicles, but occasionally it throws a few in there. Uh, that's clearly not a garbage vehicle, but still interesting that it thought it was. You can get specific as well. So we can say GMC truck. And clearly for anyone who's recognized a GMC truck by their grill, it knows that. And there's really not much in here to go by other than the grill. So it actually has a pretty big index that it was clearly trained on. Now this one, I can see the letter GMC very clearly, but much less clear in this one because it trucks way out there. And I think that is a GMC truck. It does look like it. Now, besides vehicles, we can also find things like people wearing white shirts. And once again, we can adjust the confidence level to raise it up. But I think it's doing a pretty good job here finding people wearing a white shirt outside here. It actually does shorts as well. So it's getting to be a little warmer out. Let's look for people wearing shorts. Once again, identifies people wearing shorts. We can also say things like hoodie or even backpacks. So if we wanted to find each person and the backpack that they had, and of course we can leave the description right here, a person with a red backpack and walking stick that walks along the sidewalk in an urban area surrounded by green grass. I think the description is quite accurate. Now, another feature is not just displaying all events, but narrowing it down to people or even face recognition. For privacy reasons, I won't be diving into that, but I can assure you that works. Then with vehicle, we can also narrow it down by some predefined colors, sedan, SUV. So if you didn't want to freeform this, you can narrow things down. Then we have animal and audio. Please note, speaking in the transcript, this will vary from state to state here in the United States of whether or not that is legal. Check the laws in your area before turning these features on because it does have the ability to transcribe what the audio on the camera picks up. Now I'm going to narrow this down to just animal detections and I want to put in here walking a dog. And this is where the alarm manager comes in. For example, walking dog will find people walking the dog. Still seems to detect a few cats here and there, but this is very accurate. Definitely someone walking a dog down the street here. Where I want to go here is then to the alarm manager. And we're going to go over here to animal. And we want to edit the alarm and we can look at the AI key enhanced. And we can even say things like walking a dog and set our match confidence. I really like this because we can build an AI key enhanced description, such as walking the dog, put which cameras we want to include or exclude in this, choose the way we want to be notified, or we can even choose here. The alarm manager offers a Slack post, a custom web hook, et cetera. So maybe you want to build this into an action that you want to take, such as tell people to get off your lawn if they're walking the dog too close or remind them to maybe pick up after themselves. This is just something that brings the integration to me to a next level. Instead of just having to search for things, you can now have an event create the trigger so it can alert you to take action as needed. Now, this also applies to the license plate recognition and the enhanced face ID as well. As I said, I'm not gonna get too much in here, but you do have the ability to say unknown 
known, or person of interest, and have this notify you when it recognizes a specific person or an unknown person maybe at your door. Once again, include exclude cameras so you can narrow down in scope and get very specific of when you want this triggered. Overall, the AI key paired with Protect shows that Unify is serious about offering powerful features while keeping your data in your hands. All the image processing is done locally, not offloaded some cloud service. Your video footage is also stored locally, keeping you in control over your recordings. I feel that Unify is among the few companies in the NVR space offering the level of functionality without forcing you into a license or subscription fee, something that's become very rare these days for really any products. But let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Head over to forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com for more in-depth discussion about this and other topics. Head over to lawrencesystems.com where you can connect with me on the socials, like and subscribe to see more content, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.